ok let us consider the last question of this paper 2 that is question number 18. Let f 1, f 2, f 3, f 4 be 4 functions defined like f 1 x and f 2 x and so on. Based on these functions the question is talking about the function f 1, f 2, f 3, f 4 are whether continuous, differentiable or not at x equals 0. So, let us start this question by considering functions one by one. The first function is sin square root of 1 minus e to the power minus x square. Clearly, when x is approaching to plus infinity or minus infinity, this term goes to e to the power minus infinity meaning towards 0 when x square is approaching to 0. So, this is 1 meaning this is totally defined function or continuous as well. So, it is continuous. It is not about only x equals 0 it is continuous everywhere. When we talk about the differentiability of this function, when we are going to differentiate it will give you cos theta into some derivative which will involve root 1 minus e to the power minus x square term into denominator. Clearly, we can see it creates non differentiable at x equals 0. So, this function is continuous everywhere, but it is not differentiable at x equals 0. So, there is no need to find the LHD and RHD for this question. Function f 1 is first says not continuous, second says continuous at x equals 0 and not differentiable meaning for the first one it is 2. So, when we look at the codes simultaneously we can see here p 2 meaning either a or d. Next, function f 2 x mod sin x upon tan inverse x when x is non 0 and 1 if x is 0. When x is approaching to 0 from the left hand side what we observe it becomes minus sin h while denominator is simply minus tan inverse h minus sin h is under the mod sign meaning it becomes plus sin h. So, in this case L h L is limit h approaching to 0 mod sin h with a negative sign divided by minus tan inverse h right. So, it becomes sin h upon minus tan inverse h we simply divide numerator and denominator by h to get the answer as minus 1. So, LHL is minus 1 while the value of the function is 1 clearly function is discontinuous. So, this function is discontinuous at x equals 0 correct. So, let us check this one function f 2 is not continuous at x equals 0 means first. Look at the codes again. This gives us possibility b and d. So, clearly correct answer is d. We can also check function f 3 and f 4 for differentiability and continuity. Function f 3 is greatest integer sin log x plus 2. Now, the function f 3 we have to consider it is a given domain as well minus 1 to e to the power pi by 2 minus 2. When you go for this part minus 1 to e to the power pi by 2 minus 2 right. So, x is lying in this interval meaning x plus 2 just add 2 on both sides it will lie between 1 and e to the power pi by 2. Function f 3 is saying log x plus 2. So, it will lie between log 1 and log e to the power pi by 2 meaning this term is lying between 0 and pi by 2. So, sin function is lying between 0 and 1 greatest integer of a number which is between 0 and 1 is always 0 meaning this function is continuous as well as differentiable everywhere. So, for this one we get 
the function is differentiable at x equals 0 and its derivative is also continuous at x equals to 0 meaning fourth which we had already concluded for r as fourth similarly for s that will give me 3 x square sin 1 by x standard function we know that this function is continuous as well as differentiable, but the derivative is not continuous at x equals 0. So, clearly differentiable at x equals 0, but the derivative is not continuous meaning third. So, correct answer for this question is option D right. So, in this way we have discussed J E advanced 2018 paper 2 of mathematics. This is all from my side. Thank you.